then do I fix this direction?
Gloria in excelsis Deo. Salutis aeterna premia, quom per aeravit, concede quesimus, ut hec misteria sacratissimo beate Maria Virginis Rosario recolentes, et imitemur quod contenent, et quod pre- promitunt asequamur, per eundum dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate spiritus, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Lexio libri sapiensiae, ego quasi vitis fructificavis suitatem odoris, 
et flores me fructus sonoris et honestatis. Ego mater procre delectionis et temoris, et admissionis et santes dei. In me gratia omnis vie et veritatis, in me omnis spes vite et virtutis, Transite ad me omnes qui concupiscitis me, et a generationibus me is implemini. Spiritus senem meus super me ducis, et hereditas mea super me et favor. Memoria mea in generationes sucum vox secum Qui edunt me ad hoc super surient, et qui bibunt me ad hoc sitient, qui audet me non confundetur, et qui operantur in me non peccabunt, qui e elucidant me vitam eternum habebunt,
Sequentia Sancti Evangelii Secundum Luca. In ilo tempore, misus est angelus Gabriela Deo, in civitatem Galilee, cuiu nomen Nazaret, ad virginem desposatam viro, cui nomen erat Iosef, de domo David, et nomen virginis Maria, et in gracius angelus ad Dei, et Ad eam dixit, ave gratia plena dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, que cum ad dixit turbata est in sermone eius, et cogit habat qualis eset ista salutatio, et ait angelus ei, Ne timeas, Maria, in venis dienem gratiam apud Deum, ece concipies in utero et paries filium, et vocabis nomen eus Iesum. Hic erit manius et filius, al, al, et filius altissimi vocabitur, et dabit ili dominus Deus sedem David, Patris eus, et regnabit in domo Iacob in eternum, et regnieus non erit finis, dixit, dixit autem Maria ad angelum, quo modo fiat istud, quoniam virum non coniosco, et respondens angelus dixit ei, Spiritus Sanctus supervene et in te, et virtus altissimi obumbrabit tibi, idioque et qua nasceretur ex te sanctum, vocabitur filius dei, et ece Elizabeth coniata tua, et ipsa concepit filium in senectu te, Sua, et hic mincis sextus est ili, que vocatur sterilis, quia non erit impossibile apud Deum omne verbum. Dixit autem Maria, ece ancilla domini, fiat mici secundum verbum tuum. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this votive Mass of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, I'm wondering how many of you brought your rosaries tonight? A few of you do. Well, this is a good practice to have, huh? Brothers, do you have your rosaries on? Praise the Lord, right? I brought the big one. I brought the big one that doesn't quite fit in my pocket, but I brought it with a point. At least I hope to have a point. Have you ever thought about the rosary? I'm sure perhaps you have. Have you ever thought about how it folds up? 
how we can often stick it in our pockets. This one would take quite a big pocket, but most of them, right, can fit in our pocket. I'm thinking of those that are maybe a five-decade rosary on a string. If you have one of the rosary rings that you use as you drive, or I support that, or a rosary card where they're stiff, we'll cover that in Appendix B. Appendix A is actually how to deal with an addiction to the hokey pokey. I once had an addiction to the hokey pokey, but then I turned myself around. Yes, that's right. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And indeed, in some way, in some way, that's what the rosary is all about. Turning us around. It strikes me as I'm thinking about the rosary and how it bends and conforms and makes itself capable of being carried with us or for us Dominicans, capable of carried on, it, on us. How it, it flows, if you will, with our life. How it's there potentially in every moment of our life. And the very fluidity of the structure of the rosary, the very fact that it, it flows as it's in our pockets, as it's at our side, as it's in our fingers, is a sign of what it's meant to do. Our Christian faith, our Christian faith is not just about what happened a long time ago. Yes, historically, Roughly 2,000 years ago, the mysteries of the Gospel occurred. But they are mysteries because of the nature of Christ, who of course is both God and man, who is both in time and outside of time. They are mysteries that don't simply stay in the past. And in fact, if we were to delve just a little bit into some theology and philosophy, we would say they're actually causative. That is to say, they bring about the effects that they brought about 2,000 years ago, still today. Those effects are renewed every day and principally here at this celebration of the Holy Mass. But two, every time we take up our rosary and we let it flow through our fingers, huh? we let the words flow through our lips, our hearts and minds flow to God put our hearts in, we put our minds in, we take them out, and we turn ourselves around. What? From a mindset that is too focused on this world to a mindset that is aware of the constant greater reality that is at work, that is flowing into our world. This is why we're Christians, right? We're Christians because we're not forced, we're not stuck in chasing after the same things as the rest of the world. Does this look like a happy world? In some ways, yes. Momentarily, yes. But in so many deep and profound ways, no. Our Christian faith is precisely so wonderful. We want to live our faith. We want to pray the rosary because it promises us what? A metanoia, a change, a turning around of the mind, a change of the heart, a circumcision is that biblical language, but a, a turning around of the heart. A new way of perceiving reality which recognizes that at every moment, God is breaking in. God is flowing through. The mysteries of His Son, Jesus Christ, who took on our humanity, those mysteries of Christ in His humanity are flowing into the now and through the now to eternity. And they're picking us up along the way and they're turning us around and they're reminding us of what's truly important, what will last forever. A freedom. A freedom from, could we just call it the rat race of human life. Wonderfully, our brother Thomas Aquinas, when he's asking questions around the preservation of the world, he says something wonderful. He uses a wonderful verb. Does God, is God the cause of the preservation of the world? And of course, he says, absolutely yes. And at every moment, he is the cause of being, the deepest reality 
that which makes things to be rather than not to be. And he uses the verb influere. It is to say to flow in. We get the English word influence from it. But in its, its root, it's a flowing into. And he says the being of God flows into all creatures, sustaining them in creation and then constantly in every moment sustaining. So much so that it's like if you were to turn out the lights. If God's being were not to flow in, we might as well turn out the lights. It would be that dark. His flowing in is the light. And so too, all these mysteries, my brothers and sisters, we Dominicans love the rosary. We hope to spread devotion to the rosary because they bring us back to that inflow. That inflow of existence. That inflow of everything good. And the rosary, as it accompanies us, as it's there every moment of our day, because we're going to start carrying it in our pockets and our purses, right? It's going to be with us all the time. As we have that rosary, it's there as a reminder. It's sort of flowing with our steps, with our own stride, unique for each of us, right? Some of the Dominican's rosaries rattle. Some of them don't. We have our own ways. Some guys trip on them all the time. Others don't. We're learning, right? We're learning. But it's there. It flows with us but it invites us to enter into a different flow. Into the flow that God is giving into the world. If we were to ponder this as we take up the mysteries of the rosary, we might begin to consider, I know we often think about the virtues, right, that we're asking for with each mystery of the rosary, but we might also ask, what's the inflow? What's, what is this mystery causative of? What does it bring about? in me, in the church, in the world, for the sake of eternity. And I don't know that there's maybe one answer to these questions, but if we were just to take Wednesday, traditionally we celebrate what we are, we pray those glorious mysteries. As we pray that first glorious mystery, the resurrection, we think about life. Life and eternal life flowing in. Because of that mystery, flowing in here and now, flowing in to all those who I'm praying for. I think about the ascension, right? And we, our minds are now focused on those things which are above where Christ is hidden at God's right hand. An inflowing, if you will, of, of truth, of faith. The knowledge of Christ as the Son of God. The Holy Spirit, of course, flowing in as we pray that descent of the Holy Spirit, flowing in with His love, with His inflaming and enlightening power. Or if we ponder the assumption, what's flowing in? Hope, no? The very hope that we see expressed in the assumption, the hope that we too will join Our Lady and become one as a church in heaven, it's flowing in through this mystery of the assumption that the Lord's power is at work and will lift us up too if we but let it. And the coronation. What's flowing in with the coronation of Our Lady? But the very kingdom of God. She is queen because her son is king. And his kingship is flowing in here and now. We become agents. Because of that inflow so that that kingdom might extend wherever we are. It doesn't seem like it sometimes, does it? And yet the truth is, if we're connected with Christ by grace, if we've prayed, Thy kingdom come, we are a cause because of Him, the first cause of His kingdom being right where we are. Praise the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, as we come to this Mass, which of course is the great inflow, the very body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, bringing, you will, if you will, His very presence inflowing into us, conforming us into Him so it is no longer we who live, but He who lives in us. We also consider the gift of the rosary and how it connects us so deeply to all the mysteries of Christ's life through Mary. So that just as she was overshadowed 
And the very life who is Jesus Christ flowed into her womb. So too through our prayers of these mysteries, that same life, that same wisdom and truth, that same love, that same hope, that same kingdom of God flow into us and through us to the world. Are you carrying your rosary? You might consider doing so. Dominus Fabiscum. Oremus.
Gloria permanente, mundo lumen eternum e fudit, Iesum Christum dominum nostrum. Per quem maestatem tuam ladant angeli, adorant dominatii dominationes, tremunt potestates. Celi celorum quae vertutes ac beata, beata sarrafim, socia exotatione concelebrant, cum quibus et nostras voces, ut admiti juveas deprecamur, suplici confessione dicente.
Per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus, precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat Fiat voluntat tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis hodie, et imite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Sed liberas Per omnia secula seculorum. Ac domini sit semper vobiscum. These are all two guys feel like this day, so I think that will be fun.
Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi. Domine, non sub dignus ut intres subtecta meum, sed tantum de verbo et sanabiter anima mea. Domine, non sub dignus ut intres subtecta meum, sed tantum de verbo et sanabiter anima mea. Domine, non sub dignus ut intres subtecta meum, sed tantum de verbo et sanabiter anima mea. Christ, 
メナチュリジュクシクスリティビティビティビティビティビティビティビそうですね。
Dominus Vobiscum. Sanctissime genetricis tue cuius rosarium celebramus, quesimus Domine, precibus adiuvemur, ut et misteriorum quae colimus vir virtus percipiatur, et sacramentorum quae sumsimus obteniatur effectus, qui vivis et reinas cum Deo Patre, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum. Et Benedictio de omnipotentis patris et fili spiritus sancti descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, initium sancti evangelii secundum Ioannum. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apud Deum, et Deus erat verbum. Hoc erat in principio apud Deum. Omnia per ipsum factus sunt, et sine, sine ipso factum est nihil. Quod factum est, in ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebre eam non comprenderut. Fuit homo misus a Deo, cuio nomin erat Ioannes. Hic venet in testimonium, ut testimonium per hiberet de lumine, ut omnes crederunt, crederunt per illum, non erat ire lux, sed ut testimonium prehiberet de lumine, erat lux vera, quae illuminat o omnem hominum, venentem en hunc mundum, in mundo erat, et mundus per ipsum factus est, et mundus eum non coniovit, in propria venit, et sui eum non receperunt, quod quod, Altem reciperunt eum, dedit eis potestatem filios de fieri, hisque credunt in nomine eus, qui non ex, sanguini, ex sanguinibus, neque ex voluntates carnis, neque ex voluntate viri, sed ex Deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro, caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloriam eus, gloriam quae quasi unigeniti a pace, Plenum gratiae et veritatis. Deo gratias.
feelings of spirit to Amen. Thank you both very, very, very much. <laughs>